morning, Northminster family. These are the announcements for June 14th, 2020. You all know that as members of Northminster Presbyterian Church, God has called us in three main directions. First, that we would be moving in as we draw people into our lives in friendships and relationships that minister the love of Christ. That we would be moving up as we see ourselves transformed to look more like Jesus as we learn his word and as we live it out and that we would be moving out as we serve our neighbors, whether they're right down the street, in our community, or across the world, with the same kind of love that Jesus has shown us. Every single one of us here at Northminster is called to be moving in, up, and out. We do this because we believe that Northminster exists for one reason, and that's to represent the love of Christ. And because this is our, is our calling, the elders have voted this week to prioritize love for one another and our community when deciding ministry responses to the pandemic. While there are those who might emphasize rights or politics or some other value, we are encouraged to exhibit kindness, to practice hospitality, to offer compassion, and to exercise patience. When you see other people moving forward with love and gentleness, give praise to God for their witness. You might have been looking around and wondering as you've seen other churches resume in-person worship services when Northminster would begin to do the same. Well, this week at their meeting, the elders have voted for us to resume hosting in-person worship services as soon as our region moves to phase four of the Restore Illinois plan. Based on the timing of that plan, we anticipate that beginning on Sunday, June the 28th, we're going to get to start hosting 40 to 45 minute worship services at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We we'll use a reservation system to accommodate up to the 50 person limit with an eye to potentially adding services in the future. We're gonna meet in the gym at the south end of the building. And we just look forward to being together and to joining in the common celebration of the greatness of God. But don't worry, we'll continue posting all of our worship online so that those who wish to participate in that way will still be able to. We also want you to know that on June 28th, the elders have called for a congregational meeting at 12.30 p.m. via Zoom. The purpose of this meeting is going to be to extend the terms of currently serving deacons and elders by one year. Our church bylaws uh, say that new officers are to be elected to serve three-year terms beginning in July. But with the challenges presented by the current pandemic, the elders feel that the church will be best served by extending for one year the ministry of currently serving and already elected elders and deacons. Instructions on how to access that Zoom congregational meeting will be uh, coming shortly, and we'll need a quorum of 10% of our membership in order to hold that meeting. God is still at work. There's still things going on in our church family and we are representing God's love in our community and in the world. What a thing to be thankful for. Let's continue to worship.